and another week is over. Welcome back to another walk and talk. It's been actually a while since I've done one of those. Today is Thursday, Thursday morning, uh, February, March 6th, I believe. Um, and I'm taking a different path today because we've moved. And so the path takes me on a different route. Still have to attend to the same responsibilities. Stopping for Coco to do his business, picking up his poop. Uh, but yet, uh, this route has the added awkwardness of uh, being a lot more public. So what's been going on in the past week? Well, a lot of things. Number one, we've moved, as I mentioned. Number two, this week's been super hectic for us at the school. Uh, we've had an intake of a uh, whack of new students. I think about 25 new students came in, which means we've got a bunch of new classes and it's just chaos. We've got three additional drivers, oh no, sorry, two additional drivers. One of our, our regular driver plus two kind of part-time drivers that fulfill the necessary duties of uh, taking students in and out. Uh, they use their own cars. So there's only one Shane bus and two um, kind of rented buses, I guess, so to speak. Our school is super busy. I guess it's progressing smoothly. Uh, I placed a large order of books uh, just a while ago and they should be arriving next week. So I'm trying to empty uh, our shelves, which are loaded for now with old books uh, ranging from TOEFL to Topic, and we don't use any of them. Well, I use some of the books for teaching TOEFL, a very small number of TOEFL students, but all the other books are useless. And I've tried to sell them. Some of them I can, some many I cannot, because they were basically just dropped off <coughs> as advertisements from a bookshop, so they're not for sale. So I'm tossing them. Um, if you're in a neighborhood and you want to pick up some free books, stop by. It's a very busy street in the morning here, which makes it difficult for Mali and Liam to uh, go back home on their own, so Jigyeon uh, gets to go home earlier, or oh, she's forced to, well earlier, I don't know, six or seven I guess, but on a regular basis because she has to go back and uh, release relieve the nanny of her duties. We have a nanny that comes in uh, three times a week. She's been with us for a long time, so very good woman. Uh, this upcoming Monday, uh, David and I are going to be holding a another Hagwon Startup podcast, and it's going to be on how to start a Hagwon. This Monday we'll have a step-by-step -step guide on how to set up a Hagwon. I hope to make it as thorough as possible, but please allow for missteps. We'll also be answering uh, a few questions that were posted by a subscriber, which go along the same path of how to set up and what is some of the reasoning behind and uh, behind setting up my hog one in particular. So I'll be talking about that. And uh, since the topics of establishing a hog one and gombu bang overlap at a lot of points, we'll probably be touching on um, the establishment of a gombobang as well as a hagwon. So that's this upcoming Monday. And that's really sums it up for this week. Um, weekend's almost here. There's still a crazy Thursday and crazy Friday ahead of us. Uh, but I'm looking forward to spending the first quiet weekend <coughs> at home in our new home. Coco's already established himself and he whizzes on his balcony, whizzes on his little house. So things are progressing pretty well. This will conclude this week's episode of Walk and Talk. Uh, please make sure to subscribe and leave a comment below. If you haven't done so yet, um, I'm ready to answer any questions. Post them as well if you do have any questions. And I'll see you on the weekend. Laters.